Hey friends, hope you're doing good. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make one of my favorite drinks for you guys today. If you guys have heard of bubble tea, um, what it really consists of is these like tapioca pearls. And then they have like these milk teas. Um, there's like a Thai drink, there's like a coffee drink. I think they also have like a green tea too, but um, it's like one of my absolute favorite drinks ever. <laughs> They're amazing. Um, if you don't like texture, it's probably not for you. But if you do, it's one try something new. It's 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 really good. But what I found is like it's super pricey. Well, I mean it, it can kind of add up in price. You know, like five or six dollars a drink, <laughs> right? So uh, so what I did is I figured out how to make it myself. So so what I need is like I said, um, like the green the tapioca pearls. Um, you, you can't really get them at like Walmart or Kroger's or anything like that. You kind of have to go to like an Asian market. Um, definitely call before you go because some have them and some don't. It's kind of hit and miss. So, um, and then, um, and then this, if you can see that, um, it's a, a Thai tea drink. And then, and then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that for you. So I already have some water that's getting ready to boil and then, for the tapioca pearls and then I definitely go for the instant ones um, just because it's quite a bit faster than having to use the ones that aren't instant and then I also have like my tumbler so the fastest way I do it I usually have to use hot water um, to to start to make the drink so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over here in my Keurig and, and it takes a little bit under eight ounces because um, they, they measure their their liquids in milliliters so but I'm just gonna go ahead and do eight ounces just to keep things simple but I always like my drinks a little diluted anyway so and this is like the first time that you like see makeup on me this is super rare so <laughs> I'm a mother of three children I have three boys five three and one so super busy mommy and I love them to death um, but so yeah me and makeup is kind of rare so this is me makeup um, uh, so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and and get some water from our care egg it's the best thing ever I probably use it every day not just for coffee but for you know oatmeal bubble tea a lot of different things so um, so yeah I'm sure I could probably make like one from scratch but that would just kind of take too much time so yeah when you have three children under five you kind of have to make things fast <laughs> but you know maybe one day like when they're in school I, I would probably give it a shot so um, alright so then I'm gonna go go ahead and open this let me go grab some scissors and then another thing you definitely have to make sure that you have the appropriate straw these um, they're like huge because they have to you know you have to use like the tapioca pearls so um, or you're drinking it you're slurping up the tapioca pearls on it so a, a regular straw definitely won't work um, I'm really too small I get super frustrated <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and Put this drink mix in. It's very sweet drink, so if you don't like sweet drinks, then this is definitely not for you. Um, like I, I've had, I've had you know different types of bubble teas um, at different restaurants. Theirs are like super sweet, so I don't normally make mine that like insanely sweet. It's like sugar on top of sugar. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix that in but yeah it's definitely like the easiest drink ever so um, it's super good if you don't like co coffee you can definitely replace with this with coffee because it has a crazy amount of sugar in it so I definitely would wouldn't recommend it if you're diabetic um, <laughs> it's really good Oh, but then I hear my water boiling over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some tapioca pearls in the water. All right. So I'm just gonna.
gonna pour that in there. And then a thing about this is you pretty much have to use these like right away. So, um, cause they don't do very good leftover. Um, and then like I, I, I tried to like, I used part of a bag and then I put it away and then I used it again and like they just wouldn't soften up. So if you guys, if any of you guys have made bubble tea before and you know a way to where you can like keep them fresh. <laughs> That would be great. Let me know in the comments below so I can kind of do the same thing that you're doing. Um, so I'm here I'm just mixing it. Um, so this is what they look like close up. If you can see it. Wait, no. Nope. There we go. That's what they look like before. And then they get like this jelly clear look um, when they're ready. So... And I like I this pan is is called Pro Health Ultra. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of that before. They're a super expensive waterless cookware, so they're great. Um, however, it's just it's kind of hard to figure them out. But once you figure them out, they're fine. But um, anyway, so I don't really put a lid over it because it they end up sticking to the pan because um, it's. It's not non-stick, it's steel, and so just to prevent that, um, I just leave the lid off and we'll keep an eye on it. So, and then as you see, when they start cooking, they're gonna start floating up at the top. Like that, you see? And then you just, I normally let it sit for like five minutes and boil. But while we're waiting on that to boil, I'm going to go ahead and make something called, it's just a simple syrup that you soak the tapioca pearls in. And you basically make three, three equal parts. It's, you do brown sugar. It doesn't matter if it's light or dark. It, who cares? It doesn't matter. And then, um, and then, uh, white sugar. So lots of sugar. Uh, all right, so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bowl. Actually, here in my cabinet. <laughs> Forgot to get that out. All right, that should be big enough. So I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm gonna put some water in it. First, I'm gonna get a fourth a cup of brown sugar, fourth a cup of white sugar. I use smaller cups because I don't save it. I just toss it out after I'm done. So, so hold on one second. Let me see. It's kind of interesting how to do this with one hand. So, if you hear laughing in the background, that's our kiddos are in the other room playing with daddy, so. Like I said, if you have any other recipes, I would love to know what they are because I, I love trying new things. Um, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Your Carter laughing in the back. All right. And then as you can see, they're kind of they're expanding, so they get a lot, quite a bit bigger. See. Sorry if it's getting a little foggy. <laughs> Hello! Hold on. Oh, that's better. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. And then another fourth I cup of the white sugar. Just out of curiosity, um, for you guys watching the video, has anybody ever made like the grass tea? Or I don't know if it's grass tea or it's like this grass drink, not made out of grass. It's like this, it's a grass jelly drink, but I was just kind of curious. I, I wanted to make it, but it just, it seemed a little, not difficult, but just a little time consuming. So, um, so I haven't gotten that far yet, but I really like just the, I guess, unusual different drinks. The thing, the drinks that you don't, you definitely don't see, you know, here in America. So, um, I love trying new things. I, I made my own kombucha, so that was kind of fun, exciting. My husband calls me a hippie, but I'm okay with that. But, 
so, which I'm going to do a video on how to make kombucha. Um, to be completely honest, you know, I made it and then I was a little scared to try it because I was afraid I was going to like, you know, die. Because um, it, it just, it looks disgusting, but it's really, it's, it is really good. Like, um, I, I definitely agree with the, the videos that I watch where, you know, just, it's, definitely like making your own is definitely the way to go like not saying that the other ones are bad but just saying that you know it just it definitely it does taste quite a bit better um so which I can show you that too um and what I did is I just kind of put a like I'll dip some out and then I'll I'll put some in a jar and like put some strawberries in it and then have it set in the fridge for a little bit but while well, this is in the microwave I can show you show you my kombucha which completely grosses my husband out. But it's okay, because I like it. So it's one thing I can actually like finish off myself without him stealing, so that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> He's like the ice cream thief in our house. All right, so here's our kombucha, um, or here's the kombucha that I made. Um, let me see. Here. That's what I made. Here's my little scobies. I guess that's what you call them, scobies or mother. Um, so that was really cool. There's like two of them now, which that's awesome. <laughs> so I've just been drinking out of that. It's super good. And then I just, I also, I have a question for those of you who have like, who have made your own kombucha. So, um, so this was like the stuff that I started with, like the, the raw, okay, well, I use the raw to make it, but but this is like the actual, like, this is like what started the SCOBY and everything. This is like the, the leftover. What do I, what do I do with that? Like, can I put it in a jar and put a, one of the SCOBYs in a bigger jar? Or like, what do I, what do I do with that? I don't really want to waste it, and I know it tastes super strong for me to, like, drink it. Um, but, like, if anybody of you, like... You know made it before please comment below or let me know what I can do with it instead of just leaving it on the shelf in my counter so um, but anyways so that's those are the two drinks that I like to do uh, like to make but yeah isn't that a little terrifying though like looking at it for the first time you're like thinking hmm is it safe to drink it is he won't die <laughs> um, it just you know it's definitely new to me but it's really good it's really good for you um all right this looks like it's doing pretty good so sorry going back to the bubble tea now squirrel I'm not sure if you guys ever get distracted <laughs> I do a little bit just a little bit all right this is almost done oh let me go ahead and pull the brown sugar or the syrup mix out of here and stir it again. All right, I just need to stir it up. And then I let it sit for a little bit. Yeah, super easy. I don't know, hopefully I made enough. I might need to make some more. I don't like a whole bunch of, I don't like, I know you're, so, so you're supposed to soak the tapioca pearls in the sugar syrup, the simple syrup, um, after it gets done boiling here. But I just, I don't like it to be super sweet because it's already very sweet, but I like the texture of the tapioca pearls. But I also don't like them like not flavored at all because it just tastes different, tastes, you know, <laughs> no flavor. Um, all right, there we go. So I might need to make a little bit more. I guess we'll see how it works. My middle son Carter absolutely loves bubble tea. He's completely in love with it. It's kind of fun for a kid though, you know, it's like, it's like they're getting gummies in their drink. <laughs> Not that we give it to him too much because of all the sugar in it, but anyway, so. Alright, I think we're done. And that's what it looks like when it's done. So now what I do is I I take this and I rinse that with, with some cool water. 
So, so we'll try to do this with one hand. <laughs> no. All right. Shouldn't be too difficult. People on YouTube do this all the time, right? This stuff is so good. I'm so excited. My favorite drink. All right. So I'm going to put this in this sink over here. I'm so excited. So good. Yeah. Uh, we can then there. We're gonna rinse it real good. Sorry if you can okay, there we go. Try a couple that escapes. Okay. Hold on, there we go. Okay. See how they have like that jelly clear look to it. Yeah, I definitely might need to make more. Um We'll just see how it goes. All right, here we go. Don't dump it. I know they look kind of gross, don't they? I don't know. It might be. Yeah, actually, I think it might work. Come on. Come on. It can kind of stick to the bottom because they're so jelly like, they get stuck sometimes. There we go. Get out of there. Sorry. <laughs> Hope you like my shirt. <laughs> nice view, huh? So I'm new to the whole YouTube thing. Um, I love it. It's kind of fun to give something, give something for me to do. Stay at home mom. Yeah, that was like actually perfect. So, see, and then I let it set for a few minutes. So it soaks up all that, you know, healthy sugar. So, all right. And then what I like to do is I like to add some ice into my drink. I don't really like hot drinks. I prefer cold drinks, so. Somebody should like make a bubble tea kombucha. What do you think? Yes or no? Maybe I should try and see what it tastes like. Want to do it like bitter? I don't know. Hey, never know. Never. Doesn't hurt to try, right? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some ice while I'm waiting. Sorry for the crinkly noise. All right. I gotta like stab the ice. <laughs> it's like all stitched together. Other uses for a knife sharpener, <laughs> right? You can break ice with it. I think we use that more to break ice than to sharpen our knives. I don't know if I'm comfortable with sharp knives around the house. <laughs> Having boys. All right. Oh, whoop. cold ice sharpener. Ice sharpener. Cold ice sharpener. There we go. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is the church that we go to, Indian Creek Christian Church. They gave us a tumbler. All right. And then what I just do, because I don't like the, ex the excess sugar, um, is I use a ladle spoon or a slotted spoon, and I just dump them on top. Mm, I'm a little excited. But the good thing, also a good thing about making them yourself is you can put as many bubbles in it as you want. And so, so that's the bubble tea. It's going to have Carter.
be in the video with me, but he wanted to play with Daddy, which is completely okay. <laughs> All right, and then we use this. Just throw around. Get the ice to cool it off a little bit. All right. Okay. So let's give it a try. Hopefully it's, I'm sure it tastes great. Mm-hmm. So good. So good. You gotta try this. It's so good. I love it. It's amazing. But let me know if you guys try it. I would I would love to know what you think. Um and then if you want more videos, or let me know what kind of drinks you want me to make. I would love to try new things. Um or what's your favorite drink? Um so go ahead, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.